oh my god, that that's so me espresso. Aiden, and this is the VG Punk channel. So as you can see, I'm here with the new iteration of Lukier, her evolved form, if you will, Venus Lukier. Of course, like the original Venus Lukier, it improved on what Lukier was able to do. And what I like about the deck is that before, the Vanguard just hit big. But now, Venus Lukier have a crit attached to that big number, so it makes her more of a threat. With the way I used the deck, I was already able to make the rear guard like threatening attack but now with Venus Lukier the Vanguard is also a threatening attack along with the ability to suck up two units in the middle of the battle phase we should utilize that with some of the support from Greedon which you will see in a little bit so the ride line changed a little bit with the inclusion of Venus Lukier oopsie Of course, the starter doesn't really matter, but for thematic sake, we are going to use Silverthorn Assistant Ionella. And then the great one is Irina. She is able to hopefully fetch us the card that we need. And if you call her, she'll so charge you one. And then Lillian, she will so charge you one when she's been wrote upon and you get to add a card from your soul into your hand. Most of the time, I so charge a trigger, which a lot of people will probably learn that that one single cho so charge tend to be a trigger. And I'll just add that to hand because that's extra shield. And then the grade 3 of the ride line is actually going to be Venus Lukier instead of the regular Lukier. Even though the regular Lukier is required for the first effect of Venus Lukier to proc, it's very easy for us to get that regular Lukier into the soul. Now, let's start with the trigger because that's the most boring part of the deck OT I use the dark state OT I would not recommend using what was that OT da, 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 da. the red OT using yellow purple or blue OT is fine I just have this OT lying around so I'm using that and then the usual eight crits don't judge me, my other effect crit is in the other decks, aka Greedon. So I'm using um, just three. And then um, heal trigger, four of them, duh, two regular and one that gain shield for if the opponent have two crits or more, not by trigger effect, and one if the opponent, if that unit attack multiple time. Um, it's not required. I just use it for like habit sake. And then the last three slot of the trigger, I choose to go with, oh my God, it's a little high. I choose to go with draw trigger. Front trigger is fine too. It's just, I find that front trigger forced me to cause my attack formation to be a little rigid. Draw trigger just a little bit better than the front trigger in my case. If you have the front trigger by all and you want to play the front trigger by all means play that and then the PG three of the regular PG's and then one elementaria don't worry if you don't have elementaria just use another copy of the of the regular PG's to get into the meat and potato of this deck you would run three more copy of Venus Lukier for the persona ride Venus Lukier herself already gave like a semi a uh, half Persona Rai, so it's not that big of a deal, but having her Persona Rai is gonna like push you over to the edge. And then like I said earlier, we're running one copy of the original Venus Lukier. I keep saying Venus Lukier. Um, of the original Lukier. Don't worry, we have multiple ways to fetch it, to put it into the soul. The Great 3 order, that's specific to this deck. This is one of the way to multi-attack in the deck. If you don't have it, in my opinion, it's not that big of a deal, but you will be able to consistently get it into your soul. Beside the original Lukier, this is your next target for when you get to selectively put stuff into your soul. And then, talking about targets, this is your third target. It is Showered Applause Dragon. Um, you will see other deck lists run a full play set of this because this card is very amazing. 
but the thing is this card can put itself and other card into the soul again so I I like it I really like it trust but I find that with the way I run the deck I don't have that much space so I cut down one copy I have not seen issue with it because whenever I need it it does show up now moving on to the that's all the grade three moving on to the grade two um, if you're gonna copy my deck list, I unfortunately you're gonna have to get a playset of um, Tote. She is, I I think pretty fundamental in this deck. Wait, that's not the correct way to use fundamental, is it? Foundational. She's the glue that stick almost everything together. She can search it for you and put it in the soul for you. Now, oh, this is where this is where I'm gonna get yelled at. Two. Two Rising Dragon. Don't hurt me. Two Rising Dragon is good enough in my build. Trust, 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 trust. Now, Rising Dragon is a good card. I will not blame you if you play a full playset of it. All he is is a big attacker to me. I can make my attack, my rear guard attacker big already. So, he's just a cherry on top. If I don't find him in a game it's not the end of the world for me but I still like to play it too and beside applause dragon can put him back into the soul if he end up in the drop zone now let's just show them this is the card I took from the greed on support and put it in Luke here because Luke here mid battle she will be able to put card into her soul Goma is the great one from the ride line of Greedon. The the first effect don't matter. That's the ride line effect. It's the second effect where it is put from the rear guard circle into your soul by your Vanguard ability. Venus Lucier do that. And if you do, you kind of bless one. And until the end of the turn, all your attack, your opponent will have to guard with two cards from hand if they choose to guard from their hand, which also call a battle door effect. Now, I only run one because I do run... Ubetsu allow me to consistently multi-attack even more consistent than um, the order now Bubetsu and the order together will give me five attack these three you can replace them for something else You can even replace them with um, there's another greed on card that's called Imodane it give when it's put into the soul it counter blast two that's important counter blast two it can give the Vanguard 5k and a drive that's also viable if you want to play that but don't don't put too many of the greed on stuff in here because the counter blast is pretty pretty limited the reason why i say my list is a teeny tiny bit different from the usual um venus luke here list is because i play the three card from the cure helm realm let's start with the great one it's just on play so blast one look at top five search for uh, search for any unit with Kirhelm Realm in its name, which is just these three. That's all it does, but it is important to keep it around. I like to throw the Great One down onto the field to do an um, to search and then do an early attack with it, because if the opponent chooses to get rid of it, I could just put it back into my soul with a plus Dragon effect. Yay! The Great Two. It does not matter. I just need a grade two to activate the grade three effect. The grade two, I it's a it's it's basically a vanilla card to me. The thing is, you only need one copy of each of these um, Cure Helm Realm card in order to make the engine work. So once I got like a copy of each of them in there, the rest of them is just like PG fodder, shield, discard fodder, all that. And even if they're discard, I can put them back into the soul with um a plus dragon the, the plus dragon is the other glue of the deck i guess you can say that <laughs> the last one is a, another grade three battling rogue of cure home realm now this guy is the reason why i want to play this engine because he say on attack while he is boosted by Tiny Devil of Cure Helm Realm, which is the great one that search for Cure Helm Realm stuff, I can rest 
a Devil Knight of Kirhelm Realm on the rearguard circle. You rest the Great 2 and then you get to Soul Charge 1. Most of the time it will be a trigger so don't be mad at that already. And this unit get plus 10k and a crit until the end of that battle. That is amazing. With the Tiny Devil uh, boost it is base 31. It's not any magic number. It's 2k away from being a magic number but with Lukier Semi Persona Rai boost it's 36 to the Vanguard. That's still pretty big considering everything. It's still a pretty big attack with two damage on there. Oh, and it's not locked behind like the Vanguard have the opponent Vanguard have to be grade three. No, the moment you ride L Venus Lukier, this engine is like ready to go, you know? So yeah, that's how I got my rear guards to be more threatening. If the opponent is at like what? Four damage, then I can pretty much go ham with this engine plus Lukier, that's two column that's hit above like 23k with crits on them. That last column you might have to like some give it some oomph, but it's not that bad. But yeah, I people tend to forget these guys because they're I think all three of them are common, but I think Vanguard is starting to like have little engine here and there, and I think that's pretty cool. People should look into that instead of um, instead of just ignoring them. I came from a Yu-Gi-Oh background, so you know Yu-Gi-Oh is known for their little engine. So that is my Venus Lukier deck list. So that is my Lukier deck list. I think this um, support is amazing, but of course it's not gonna like. It's not gonna win any tour. Mm. It's not gonna be like completely meta, you know. Sojo Doji, it's that it, that's a top dog right now. So, if you like something that's fun and versatile, definitely give Venus Lukier a look, because e even if you don't play the engine that I want, that I like, the Kirhelm Realm engine, you can always put back. The full playset of, um, what is that dragon? The, the dragon that I only play two of. That's a big hitter. You can put that back. There are other stuff. Some people play that, um, fake purple trapezes that, uh, Lukier have. There's a lot of way to build Venus Lukier, and I think it is one of the most versatile deck in Vanguard, in standard Vanguard right now. I think she's really fun. There's many different ways to build her. Give it a try and always like incorporate your playstyle into what she does because her the, the floor of the deck it's already good it's up to you as the player to make it better so yeah that is my deck profile for the new venus lukier i am very excited for when harry come out so i could see what i can put from Harry to Lukier and from Lukier to Harry because they're both Pale Moon cards and this is amazing. I don't remember if I have any update to tell you guys. I know I have not uploaded frequently. It's because I <laughs> I don't have the motivation to and school is really kicking my ass. <laughs> but with set 3 came out, I find deck building a little more fun now. But yeah, remember to take care of yourself and I'll see you real soon my love. Ooh.